I just have to catch my breath for a moment. This place, Katesh, Jacob, the deathless ones. I've been running so fast for so long, I haven't stopped to acknowledge the simple fact that all of this is real. A part of me can't believe it. But I know Jacob was telling the truth. Whatever made him is here, and I'm going to find it before Trinity. I only wish Dad was alive to share in this discovery. Jacob, I'm heading in. What will I find down here? My people haven't been down there since we sealed it off, centuries ago. But it should be safe, at least until you make it past the orrery. Was it part of the observatory? It was built by my astronomers, before the Deathless buried the old city. You'll need to use it to open the entrance to Katesh.
This is extraordinary. Let's see how this thing works. into the right position. locked. Just have to disengage the mechanism. There's another lock on the other side. destroyed everything in the city, sank beneath the ice. Jacob's people were ahead of their time. Watch your step, Lara. Make it to the top now. Got to time it just right. <sighs> Patience, Lara.
of the advanced archery skills developed in Byzantium. The old city is close. Lara, we're on the mountain above the glacier. Can you see Trinity? Yes, they're beginning their operation. I'm entering the old city now. Listen, Sophia, don't attack them too soon. We'll give it some time. I'll contact you again soon. I thought I had died. The cold gnawed at me, and I grew weak, even as I saw the Prophet's people camped on the ridge of a strange green valley. One foot after the other, sword in hand, I trudged on. I meant to charge, battle cry on my chapped lips, when consciousness fled and I collapsed into the arms of heretics. They know who I am. They have been expecting Trinity. They do not have much. But they fed me, kept me warm until I could walk again. The prophet told me I could leave whenever I desire, but they have taken my blades. Even armed, I do not know that I could kill this man. I have failed the order. I have failed myself, but I live.
I leave these notes for whoever should follow in my footsteps. My wounds are worse than I believed. They will not heal. Tonight I will make one last attempt to escape this frozen tomb, but I doubt I have the strength. The divine source is here, at the peak of the tallest tower, but it is beyond my reach. With the source at his disposal, the prophet's deathless ones are unstoppable, an army of wraiths and devils that can never die, a mockery of all God's creation. They are no longer human, and they will break any army that stands in their way. With every death and rebirth, they learn. They adapt. Should Trinity someday find a way to seize it for ourselves, I fear that we will do no better. Perhaps it would be best if it were to remain lost forever.
General, we observe something strange in the night. We are camped above the city of Katesh as the city prepares for invasion. They still believe the attack will come from on high. They will not expect your charge from the pass on the far side of the valley. But I must tell you, on the tower at the heart of the city, something unnatural awaits us. We watched hundreds of armored soldiers ascend its heights, and then a light cracked the sky. There was a sound that froze my blood, a roaring like an army of hungry ghosts. Then the men descended again. I do not know what they keep atop that tower. We thought it a treasure, but it appears to be something else entirely. We have sealed the doors and barred them from entry. The riders are coming, and I must keep these people safe. Mothers with children, old men like me. Those that cannot fight. I have food and water in sufficient quantities to keep us alive for the length of the attack. Should our Athanatoi fail, and the attack becomes a siege, we will die here. For that, I have enough belladonna to provide the little ones with safe passage. Pray it never comes to that. This is, hmm, particularly odd. It has elements of Scythian design, but it looks like a... No, n not possible. Ugh! <sighs> 
They're going to break through the ice any minute. Do you think you can stop them? The best we can do is buy you some time. I'll see you on the other side. I have failed. There will be no pardon for my sins. I have drenched my hands in blood in pursuit of the Prophet, and now there is nothing left. As the attack became a siege, the Prophet's people did the unthinkable. They turned their weapons against the glaciers and buried their own city. Mongol and the Prophet's people alike were crushed in the ice. The Khan and his warrior horde are dead. The people of Katesh are broken and scattered. I alone survive in the frozen heart of the city, and my only companions are the deathless army of the Prophet, their eyes aflame with unholy light. Even now, they hunt the ruins for survivors. I don't know what I expected an immortal being to be like, but Jacob seems so... human. The things he must have seen over the years, all that experience and knowledge, it's difficult to fathom. And yet, he lied to his own people for generations, all for the sake of this secret. What wonders will be unlocked with the Divine Source? Will humans finally understand the true nature of the soul? Or will it unlock some extraordinary new scientific discovery? What? 